Hey guys, welcome back to Granny Cook Goods channel. Today it's gonna be all about these good old sweet potato biscuits, but I'm gonna show you in a different way how I put them together. And a good old compound sweet potato butter, which can be used on anything, okay? First, all you're gonna do is get your flour, all of your seasoning, add it all together in a bowl, get your buttermilk and your sweet potato puree together, you're gonna add your puree in with your buttermilk right there in a cup, measuring cup. Mix it all together and it should look like something just like that. Now you wanna get your butter together for your flour. And we're gonna have to work this butter into this flour. You can shred it or you can use a pastry blender, you can use a fork, you can use a knife, two knives. All you're trying to do is cut that butter into that flour. Really, really good. And it should come out looking something like this. Nice, sandy, looking like some little small pea sands or something like that. That's what you want it to look like. And then next you're gonna do is just make you a whale in the center. Move it back, baby, because you got something good to pull off in there. Like that good old mixture there. That's your sweet potato and your buttermilk. You wanna pour that into that whale and cover it all up take you something to just start stirring it. I'm using a, a poor man's whisk, that's what they call it. But I use that to keep it, me from overworking my batter and my dough. But when you mix it all together, it should look nice and moist. Bring it together, don't wanna overwork it. Then you pour it out on a surface where you can kinda bring it together, knead just a little bit, and then just work it into a ball, just like what you see right there. Now you can roll it out and it should, you can roll out round, square, however you wanna do it, but just pat it out. We're gonna do a few foldings right here because we want just a few layers into our biscuits, right? What a biscuit about without a layer, right? So all you're just gonna do is fold like you would an envelope and turn, fold, turn, maybe three times, that'll be good enough. Then you can get out your rolling pin, you can get out your glass, whatever you feel comfortable with rolling that dough out. All you wanna do is get it rolled out into about a, maybe an inch thick, whether it's round or whether it's square. It doesn't matter. Then right here, you can go ahead and prepare your pan, spray it down or parchment paper. And now you want to get your cookie cutter. Like I say, I use a square right here because I, I use a square pan. I wanted square biscuits. I normally put just a little flour. Once I spray my pan, I'll sprinkle a little flour down just for a nice little browning up under the biscuit. That's all. And then I just lay it on in the corner. I do touch my biscuits together when I put them in the pan. Kind of like kissing in other words. <laughs> But, you know, make sure they're touching because they rise off each other really good um, that way. Grab them scraps because you're going to have some scraps. Grab them together. Make a second round. Make another ball from that scrap, honey. Roll it out. Cut it out the same way. Then next thing you know, you got you a pan full of nice biscuits. And you want to put a little of buttermilk or any kind of milk that you have. Just brush the top of them. Some people brush them with butter. That's fine too. But I find that the milk it just give them a little more. It helps them stay moist when it goes into the oven. And don't forget, we want to set our oven, y'all, at 450 degrees. I know everybody heating conduct is differently, but set that oven at 450 degrees. Put them biscuits in there, and I normally set it for 15 minutes. 15 minutes should give you some nice, good old brown biscuits. Now, right here, we're gonna go ahead and put this compound butter together. All you need is some good, soft, soft butter. Reserve just a little of that puree that you have to the side, cause you're gonna mix both of those together. You mix a little of that sweet potato with that soft butter, y'all, look what you got, a nice compound butter. And that don't just have to be put on biscuits, you can put that on toast, pancakes, waffles, anything. But of course, these doggone biscuits right here. Lay that stuff on there, y'all, when it's hot coming out that oven, and you got you some nice sweet potato biscuits with a nice sweet potato compound butter. That's where it is right there, y'all. So you can do this in your kitchen, cause I did it in mine. Let me know how yours come out. Love you guys, bye.